Hi and welcome, my name is Anton Monson and today we're gonna fix your extruder. So if you have a 3D printer you'll probably be familiar with the scenario where your extruder clogs. So this is the uh, situation where your extruder is not extruding uh, filament enough or actually you can see on your nozzle that the filament is curling up or that there is no filament at all coming out. So today we're going to go through two steps or it's actually one but I, I made my modification on it and it's called a cold pull. So we're going to go through that, how to do it and how to get rid of the clog in your extruder. So first of all to identify that you have a clog we're going to check out the nozzle and during extrusion you can just choose load filament in your printer. We want to check if there's uh, any filament at all coming out and actually if we can help out with your hand and push the filament out. If we can do that but we see the filament curling up and it's really really difficult, it could be a partial clog. If there's nothing at all coming out, it's probably a clog and especially if you push by hand and nothing's happening, that's probably a full clog. Now to start fixing your machine there's really just two things that you need. You need some of this, uh, a clear filament, hopefully you can find some nylon, ABS or something that needs a lot of temperature to melt. That's the best thing to use and here I have some bridge filament from Talman, just a small sample. And you also need something to clip it off to make sure that you get a really nice cut which means that it's easier to pull down into your hot end. And so the first thing you want to do is to unload your filament that is currently loaded. And you do that just a regular way and uh, hopefully there's no issues there. If you have some issues with uh, not being able to pull material out, make sure that you heat it up a little bit extra. So then step number two is to preheat your extruder. It should already be pretty hot if you just unload your filament. So make sure that it's around 200 degrees Celsius. So that means that um, your filament will melt when you push it down later. So we'll, we'll get back to that. So for step number three, we wanted to uh, cut a piece here. Uh, just not too long, not too short, a few centimeters good. Uh, make sure that this should be able to reach all the way down to the nozzle and you should still be able to hold your hand above without burning your fingers on the nozzle. So when we do that we then want to push it down through the um, down to the nozzle until it stops and when it stops we want to push it a little bit extra. Let it stay here for a few seconds, maybe 10 to 15 seconds and then you pull it out really quickly. So now in the fourth step we can just look at this, uh, we can see that there is a lot of dirt on it. So the next step is to just cut that away or if you need to you just cut a new piece. I really like to just take the whole thing, push it down and then when I'm finished I'm just cutting away a little bit piece and then we start over. So we just use one of these strips. And that's it for the last step you just want to repeat this process of pulling down, uh, letting it melt a little bit and, and pull back and make sure that you cut away the dirty part. So you will really see uh, how dirty your filament is and when it's clean that usually means that everything is fine. Now there is a uh, method called cold pull. This is, I would call that my method is a hot pull because I don't want to wait for the cool down. In a cold pull you do it a little bit different. Now in what's called the real cold pull method you, uh, you change one step a little bit. So when you heat up the extruder you heat it up to around 200 maybe even more, 250 if you're using ABS and really really hard materials like that and then you take your filament and well let's take all of this and you push it down and you can actually keep on some pressure on it and when you do that you turn off the preheat so you still want to monitor the temperature but you don't want to heat it up so while it's cooling down you want to keep pushing a little bit and uh, when it goes down to around 90 degrees celsius or 80 it's actually not really any science here it just has to be really quite cold it shouldn't be like 60 degrees it should be like let's say around 100. And when that's done and it's cool, you wanna really, really pull up on it hard. And usually you see even more gunk being um, uplifted. So that's you do a real cold pull, but it takes a little bit longer and it's usually a bit more uh, extreme to do. It puts a lot of pressure on your machine, especially when pushing down and also when pushing up. So it's up to you if you need to do a cold pull, but what I call is a hot pull is much more quicker. So with that said, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something. Hopefully you can show this to everyone that has issues with clogging and hopefully you'll learn how nice the hot pull and the cold pull methods are to really get that uh, crap out of your printer. So thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, have a good night, see ya!